everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a Revolution Beauty collection. These are going to be all of my eyeshadow palettes that I have from Makeup Revolution, Revolution Beauty, whatever it is. Um, so that way you guys can see everything that I have. And if you guys want to see a tutorial with any of them, let me know down in the comments below. I will be gladly to show you guys it. So be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also be sure to go and hit that subscribe button down below. I would love to have you guys a part of this family. And that would mean so much to me if you hit that subscribe button. So let's just jump right into this video. I will say that a lot of Makeup Revolution is a lot of dupes. I'm just going to throw that out there. Not trying to be shady or whatever. A lot of Makeup Revolution has a lot of dupes for a lot of high-end. So if I do know of a dupe for the high-end version, I will let you guys know. If I don't know, obviously I won't say anything about it. Duh. So, yeah. Well, I'm just going to start right this video. This one is the Chocolate Love Palette by iHeart Makeup, which is pretty much Makeup Revolution. This is what the palette looks like. As you know, you probably guys probably know what this reminds you of but you have a lot of cool tone shades I mean you have a lot of cool tone shades you got a nice um, bronzy taupe but cool tone you got a nice bron uh, taupey shimmer you got your pink you got teal you got a lot of beautiful cool tone colors so this is the dupe for the chocolate bonbon palette I believe they do kind of faintly smell like chocolate not too much but just a little bit but this one is the dupe for the Chocolate Bon Bon palette. I really wanted that palette. I don't know if they're going to stop selling that palette. Um, but I did see that they did take it off of the Ulta's displays that I go to as well as Sephora. So I don't know if anyone knows anything about that. Let me know down in the comments. But I just love this palette, especially if you really love and you're really sick of all the warm tones. This would be your best friend. They do have one, two, three... Four, five, six, maybe seven. They have six to seven shimmers, and everything else is matte. And you get four, hold on, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. You get sixteen shades in this. I believe it's sixteen shades. So, if my math is wrong, my math is wrong. Sixteen shades, I'm saying right now. And I just, I really do love this palette. I forgot about it after I got my my chocolate bar, so I'm thinking about doing a makeup, you know, remembrance or something, or anyways, yes, so this is that palette. Next one that I have is the Revolution Golden Bar. It looks like this. It's just a very bronzy kind of palette. I don't necessarily believe it's like gold. I do think it's very bronzy, in my opinion. Now, literally, almost everything in this palette is a shimmer or a glitter or something. There's no matte. I think that might be the only matte shade that we have. So it's kind of like the Too Faced bar, but this came out, I believe, a way before that. The Too Faced 24 karat golden bar or something. But I do really like this. I haven't really played around with it too much, but I think for like a good everyday type of in the crease and then on the lid I do think it would be a really good palette to have if you just want an accent palette to go and you know pack on some glitter or if you just want a palette that's all shimmer this will be something good if you really don't want to spend the money on the Too Faced um, golden bar palette or whatever it's called this would be a really good option for it so if there's any dupes for the, this one let me know down in the comments below because I have no idea if it is or not mm. Next we have the I Heart Makeup Rose Gold Chocolate Bar Palette, and this is what it looks like. Now, I already know the dupe. It's the Rose Gold Huda Beauty Palette. This is what it looks like. It is beautiful. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven matte shades, well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight matte shades, and then you have some shimmers, and you also have some glitter. I do know that this one is a glitter that's like really 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 pressed I do really love this palette I think this palette is more of a winter palette not necessarily a summertime because it is so warm and just it screams like it's not summertime what am I saying this palette really screams to me not trying to glare you guys there you go okay so this palette screams pretty much fall or winter time in December 
when Christmas is coming. This is like a holiday kind of palette because of all the glitters and the golds and all that kind of stuff. I really do love this palette. I don't reach for it as much as I should, but I really do love it. I love this pink right here. I think it's amazing. Now, do you notice anything different with these two palettes? This one's Makeup Revolution. This one's Hard Candy. They both look very, very similar, but they're also very different because this one has a matte black in it, and this one also has really nice neutral shades over here, whereas this one, you can't really find a neutral shade to put on your lid, so I just wanted to point that out in case you wanted this palette. This would be a good alternative, but it's not an exact dupe. This one has a lot more friendlier shades, like these you don't have to use all those bold colors and the rose golds and stuff and all those deep colors you don't have to use them but I really do love this palette I think it is absolutely amazing next we have the I Heart Makeup Chocolate and Peaches palette and I ugh, I kept this thing in there why did I do that as you can tell, you guys know what this looks like. This is the exact dupe of the Sweet Peach palette. I actually got this palette before. I got the Sweet Peach palette, I believe. Maybe. But it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine shimmer and the rest are matte. I really do love this palette. I, I mean, I really love, I mean, this is a no-brainer. I do love Makeup Revolution formula. I love the way that they blend and everything. So like I said, if you are on a budget I would re and you love and have been eyeballing the Sweet Peach palette, I would definitely recommend picking this one up. Like, it's, it's amazing. I do love using this, and I use this for a long time. And sometimes I actually use this over my Sweet Peach palette, so I definitely think it is worth the money. The Salted Caramel palette, and it is an exact dupe of the dark, sem the semi-sweet chocolate bar palette. And it does kind of smell like it. I don't, I mean, it kind of smells like it. Not too bad. Now, this is a very, it's very funny palette, in my opinion, because it has cool tone shades, and then it has, like, this random warm brown, and that random, where is it? and that random warm color and everything else is cool tone so it doesn't really make sense to me I don't normally reach for this palette I do appreciate a nice matte black in a palette um for me and my skin tone that isn't a nice brow bone highlighter I do think it's a little dark in my opinion but I do love this as a crease color right here I think it's very very beautiful I do love this shimmery pink right there I do love tapping that onto the lid I do think it's beautiful but I really do like how they are putting in some more cool tones. Obviously, this is an exact dupe of the Too Faced um, Chocolate Semi-Sweet Palette. Semi-Sweet, whatever, Bittersweet, whatever it's called. Um, it is an exact dupe. So if you did be, was, uh, if you were eyeballing that palette, this would be a good option to have. Like, straight up would be a good option. Though I do think that with these, I don't know why I close it and keep opening it up again. Now, I do say that these, you are missing some shades, I think, possibly in the palette, if I'm correct. I don't remember what it looks like, but I think those two definitely, you may be having some other shades you're missing. I'm not exactly sure. Don't really remember, honestly. Next, we have the Makeup Revolution HD amplified 35 palette and this is the socialite palette it looks like this okay I'm gonna open it up because we got a ooh, on the floor we got a big glare and I will say I can't say much about this palette because I'm still testing it out so I'm gonna keep my lips sealed about it until I go and give you a full on review of it but I think obviously this reminds me of a morphe palette 35 Except the one thing is different, it has names instead of like 35B, 35N, or whatever. It definitely just, I like how they have names on it to be quite honest with you guys. This is the I Heart Chocolate Palette. This one is my absolute favorite. Now the packaging is broken. I'm so sad to say what it is. This is my absolute favorite. Yes, it is a chocolate bar dupe. I know it is. It doesn't really smell like anything. I don't think it does at least. 
that's a good close up of it without trying to blind you guys I'm gonna close it because it's it's busted but I do well I have a video on it but I do love this palette a lot more than I do love my chocolate bar I love my chocolate bar I think it's great it's for very natural looks I do like this one more flat out saying it I love this one more and I think in whatever video I posted in I do talk it'll be like later on down the road whenever the video is posted uh, I think it's in my all-time favorite palettes. It'll be posted soon, if not sometime in June, around when my wedding is scheduled. But I do talk about why I love this palette more than I do the chocolate bar, so stick around for that if you're waiting to see that. Next, we have the Naked Chocolate palette, and it looks like this. It's just a very beautiful, rosy, mauve-y. Um, it does have some coppers in it. It does have a little bit of gold, like over here. Very, very beautiful. It's very cool-toned. I love how it stays in the pinky, rosy, dusty, rose, mauve shades. I love how it stays in that. It does have a couple copper. It has a copper and a gold. That's really about it, but I do love this palette. Um, this is also in one of my all-time favorite palettes, and I'm not going to talk about it too much, but I do love this palette. So if you also want to see it, see that video, be sure to subscribe, and you can stick around and get notified when I upload it, so that way you can see why I love that palette so much. So next we have the Soph X palette. This is a 35, no, it's 20, did I say it's 35? This is a 24 Ultra Professional Eyeshadow Palette. It has 24 shades. This palette has everything you need from a nice white color to a nice deep black. It has every color. I mean, maybe just throw in, like, maybe a pink, like a rose gold, and I think you're good. Rose gold shimmer. I think you're good. This has everything you need in this palette. If you're someone who does not know what to spend their money on, cannot is not able to buy anything online or whatnot, or don't know what to go and give someone, this is a good palette because it has everything you need. And this was created by a fellow YouTuber. Her name is Soph. Soph Does Nails is her YouTube name. She's very beautiful. She does amazing looks. I really do like her. And I love her accent. It's amazing. So I really would recommend picking this up. I, I love this palette. I don't use it as much as I should, but I definitely, I do love this palette, like, a lot, a lot. Next, we have the Mint Chocolate Palette. And this palette, I don't, I'm not too, I'm just going to be honest, I'm not that crazy about it. Re I, like, I'm really just, this yellow doesn't speak to me. I just put my finger on it. This yellow doesn't speak to me, like, this weird moss color doesn't speak to me. You ever just buy something because you want to test it out? Well, if you're a YouTuber and you want to buy something just to test it out and you buy it and you're just like, why do I do that? This is one of these palettes. I have to continue to play with it to really get a good opinion on it. I just don't see it. Now, if you are going to go out and buy the subculture, I do think this is more up your alley because I do know that this is a dupe for it as far as I what I heard but I definitely do I'm I'm just I'm on the fence I'm not sold but I'm not like hell no so mm. alright you guys and you know I do have a dedicated video to this palette I love this palette so much when I first started my channel and I still really do love it and I do have a video in my all-time favorites I do mention this palette Without giving any spoilers or give like giving away information, but I do love this color. I think it's beautiful. And as soon as that video posts, I will definitely be sure to go back onto this video and leave that in the cards for you guys. But I really do love this palette. This palette is perfect for everyday looks. If you love just using browns, taupes, very that's my caps, very earthy tones, this is the palette for you. I love this color. I love this quadrant right here because I do break it down to cool, neutral, and warm right here. I just, I really do love it. Now, at first, I thought this was for contour. This one was for bronzer for some weird reason. And this one was for, like, a highlight. But supposedly they're not. They're just used for transitions. So, I really do love this palette. I think it's quite amazing. And this one is a dupe for the Kat Von D Shade and Light. So if you can't afford it, then I would definitely recommend this one. I do love it. And it does come with a little bit better of a brush. Ugh. 
than the rest of them do. I don't have the brush. The brush is like in my brush uh, jar. But I do like this one, like the brush it came with. I do love using it for creams because it is a little bit more um, synthetic feeling. A little more fake. But I do think it blends out creams a lot better than it probably would eyeshadow. So I just would definitely pick this up. It's perfect for on-the-go looks too. As well as travel. I love taking this for travel as well. And I do want to say that I do have a palette in the mail. It's the chocolate or the naked nude nude chocolate I think it's called it it just released not too long ago I do have that coming in the mail so as soon as I get it I'm gonna be testing it I'm gonna be doing everything like that for you guys and I'll be able to go and give you guys a full review hopefully I'm hoping I'll be able to get more reviews and have a longer time to test products like this I do I do double film on the same day so I'll do a makeup look one day and one time and then like the next the same day I'll do like a sit down video like this where I just talk that way I have my makeup done for the video and I'll have the so it's kinda hard for me to actually be testing out products to be quite honest with you but I'm hoping that I will be doing that more often so I do hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you, see you in my next one bye guys